a La Lega rally in the run-up to Sunday's election. Formerly the Northern League, it's grown from a northern separatist movement to a nationwide populist party under Matteo Salvini. And there's a familiar slogan, with a clear subtext for the hundreds of thousands of migrants and refugees who've made Italy their home. Molto serenamente. Those who choose the League choose something clear, Italians first, Italians first. And it's that same slogan you can see on the banners of the extreme right, like at this gathering in Rome of the Casa Pound movement. They're a small party and failed to win seats in Parliament. But their opponents, such as these counter-protesters, say electoral success is not their only purpose. Some organisations are hiding, disguising themselves, speaking about democracy but using words of hatred, discrimination and racism and carrying out aggressions and stabbings. One attack last month hit the headlines. A gunman drove around shooting at African migrants in the central city of Macerata, wounding six of them. When police arrested suspect Luca Traini, he had the Italian flag draped over his shoulders. But inside his home, they found Nazi material. People who know him say Traini was a League Party candidate in local elections before turning to the neo-fascist group Forza Nuova, as well as Casa Pound. Here in the capital, the Bangladeshi community is one group that's been targeted. More than 70 Bangladeshis, many of them street vendors, have been beaten up in the last few years, a sort of initiation rite for young fascist activists. This Rome-based journalist says the anti-immigrant language that dominated much of the election campaign is having a knock-on effect. But they are using immigration and... Uh, the result is that, that uh, extreme right parties, uh, not just uh, these uh, two parties, also Nazi skin, uh, they are creating small groups to, 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 uh, to target immigrants. Parties like La Lega and their electoral allies, the Brothers of Italy, deny links to neo-fascist groups and have spoken out against physical attacks on foreigners. But their detractors say they're knowingly creating hatred with dangerous consequences. There's a growing climate of fear in the country, and often immigrants don't report violent incidents because they might not have residence papers or because they're scared that speaking out might have worse consequences. Matteo Salvini and his party are on the rise and expanding their support base. But as attitudes harden against immigrants, some fear that's already making life dangerous for minority communities here. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Rome.